Yo, what is going on Outriders and welcome back to the channel. Hey, in this video I'm going to be going over a strategy that's going to help you clear the gate mission in Outriders. Okay, there's a mission. If you're not here yet, you'll get here eventually. It's pretty tough if you're a solo player playing at the max possible world tier, which I was. So it took me a few attempts and I had to come up with a strategy that would work for me. And this is for the frontier clear a path to the gate section of this mission. So this is a two phase encounter and if it's, it's long and if you die at any point, you got to start way back at the beginning of phase one. So let's dive right into uh, my strategy here. I am currently on uh, a devastator. So uh, all of my abilities are kitted as such. I'm using the golem skin, obviously. I am also using the tremors ability because that's going to give me a lot of health. I've got perks on my armor that give me health back. Uh, on my tremor pulses that's great because there's going to be so many ads like guys there's so many ads in this encounter they are all over the place they're going to be swarming you so big aoe's are going to be your saving grace big aoe's that give you health back and i've got extra pulses on my tremors so they're going to last longer and that's going to i'm going to try and oscillate back and forth between all of my cooldowns so that i've always got something cooled down ready to go and if i have nothing cooled down don't risk it you're going to run and kite uh, kite enemies until you get your cooldowns back. So this is what you're gonna do. I spent <laughs> I spent like 45 minutes trying to clear this encounter, just running around this big open arena, and it's a challenge. It's a challenge because there's all kinds of nasties that are gonna be pushing you and shooting poison bombs at you, and you gotta find a good place to funnel them. I found this to be the most effective strategy right here. There's another place you can funnel them into, a little room in the opposite side, straight across from me, uh, where the crawler spawns in this little temple right in the direction I'm looking here. You don't want to go back there because you're going to get trapped in there and there's no cover to work with in there. But where I'm headed, there's four big pillars and a big circular area in the middle that you can kite uh, enemies around, which is going to be your saving grace. These pillars are going to help block things like the poison bombs, the crawlers, um, like overload attacks, and the big energy beam that he can shoot at you, all that stuff. So you see where I'm at here back in this corner. I'm going to start just funneling ads in here this is where you want to be and you gotta you got these tricks is you want to try and take them out as quickly as possible because these guys are just they are the worst lobbing poison bombs at you now i'm going to be trying to kite these alphas around as well because they can pounce on you and hit you with these like one two three combos like you just hit me and uh, i'm playing my cooldowns here I'm using my tremors, and whenever my tremors are up, that's when I'm going to be trying to dump out a lot of damage on the smaller adds and clear the, the trash mobs out of the way. And I'm just using these pillars to block these poison attacks. I'm using an SMG with, with a Shield Maiden on it, and it also um, blows up anything that I kill, so killing shots will cause the target to detonate, so it's really good for trash mobs. These alphas are going to push you back in these corners. They're pretty um, they're pretty squirrely. They're very fast. They can pounce on you pretty quickly, so if you need to just kite around and play your cooldowns, do it. Take care of the trash mobs. This SMG is, was fantastic for this encounter because you don't have a lot of space to work with. Things are not going to be keeping their distance. They're going to be all over you. Make sure you're picking up any epic loot that drops because you may have to try this a few times, and it's actually going to turn out to be a pretty nice little farm you can get some titanium on the multiple runs it might take you you can get some titanium from some of these bigger guys that you're dropping you're going to get some epics that are going to drop and they could plug some uh, some holes in your build but you want to make sure that you're kitted out before you get here make sure all your gear is up to up to par up to your current level and above and uh, make sure that you don't have any armor pieces on that aren't applicable to your build it's it's much better to have something that's going to help with your abilities um, that's a, maybe a little bit lower on the armor rating than to have a higher armor score with a perk that just doesn't do anything for you. So, kill the crawler, and at this point, here's what I like to do, okay? You can see the crawler is dead, and I've got the, uh, the <laughs> freaking poison bug, the Strix, coming up on me. And uh, what I like to do here is I'll take out the last poison bug here, and these little ads, they're gonna, they're gonna keep swarming you. Keep at least one alive. Okay, keep at least one alive and run around, kite them, and uh, come all the way down the stairs. What you want to do here is you want to make sure that you restock your ammo supply. Because uh, this is the end of the first phase. Once you get that crawler down, yeah, you're coming to the end of the first phase. And that was the easy part. You're going to restock, and now you can kill them. 
And that's going to immediately launch Phase 2. As soon as the last trash mob is dead, bam, Phase 2 is going to start. The two moss bullheaded behemoths are going to jump down. You're going right back to those stairs, baby. You do not want to be out in that open arena with these guys because it's going to be those guys plus the alphas um, plus the guys that shoot um, like the firebomb guys at you. You're going to have so many ads down there. It's going to be so hard to keep up. You need to have a place like this where you can run circles, kite, and right, right here where the two guys are pushing you, you really just want to pick one and be like, I'm going to bully this one. Now, the Devastator has this nice ability. It's the last ability you unlock. It sort of locks an enemy down. It kind of sucks them up into this, like, this obelisk type thing, right? And it gives you at least a couple of seconds where you can focus on just one of them and not the other and kind of take the other one out of the fight for a moment. But you want to pick one and bully him. Now, they they can cover a lot of ground quickly. So if you've got your back turned to them, you need to be staring at your mini-map. Because it's going to tell you when they're closing in on you. And if you see one beelining it super fast, you know he's mid-charge. He's about to pounce on you, and you don't want that to happen. So make sure you're doing your dodge rolls if and when you can. Now a ton of ads are going to start making their way up here. Look at all those ads. So I'm going to use my tremors to get healing on every time my tremors hits a trash mob so my health bar is going to stay full while my tremors are up and you want to try and take out some of these guys when you can but you do not want to stop do not stop keep moving keep running circles keep kiting and at this point um i'm going to actually start to bring them down because i've got too many ads up there and when you get overrun like that Sure, you can come down here and kite for cooldowns. I've got one of these guys almost dead, and I know I know he's about to go down. So I'm going to throw on my golem skin, turn around, and try to challenge him, take him down. So once you've got uh, one of them down, that's going to give you just a little bit more space to breathe, but don't get too comfortable. Don't take unnecessary risks. Keep kiting, keep running, keep playing your cooldowns, because so many of these things are going to be lobbing poison bombs at you. And uh, they can burn you out pretty quick. You don't want that to happen, obviously. So see this big ring? <laughs> you want to get out of that big ring because that's going to knock you down. And you're going to get uh, stun locked. And that's the worst. Whenever you get stun locked in this game and you're helpless, you just get hit by multiple guys at once and there's nothing you can do about it. That's going to ruin a run real quick. But uh, I finished off one of the behemoths when I kited him down the steps. Here's his loot that I'm running back towards right now. So I'm going to walk over it just because I was like, if I die, I want to make sure I get some titanium or something out of it. So I was going to see if he dropped any. But the last behemoth is pretty weak right now. But again, I'm going to kite him up to the top of the steps and just finish him off here. Play my cooldowns. I got tremors working right now just to try and give me a little bit of health as I'm running away from him. And there he goes. He's going to drop here. And that's, uh, that's the last of the behemoths. Now you just got to kill the trash mobs. These guys... We'll just come barreling towards you. So anything you've got that's going to help you with crowd control is going to be nice here. You got these alphas to deal with. Again, they are just a pain in the butt. You never want to underestimate them. They go down relatively easily, but they can pounce on you from pretty far away. You don't want that to happen. So you see that how much distance he can cover in a single leap is it's pretty nutty. But I'm not taking any unnecessary risks. It took me too long to clear this encounter, so I was like, no, nah, man, I'm, not, I'm just playing it safe. We're going to kite him back, just whittle him down, make sure I'm playing my cooldowns. And here's the last guy. I'm going to clear him, and the encounter is finished. This back area up here is going to be your saving grace. It's going to keep you alive, and uh, hopefully you'll get some good epic gear out of it. So hopefully you found this strategy helpful, this uh, back area with the steps and the pillars going to help keep you safe and uh, hopefully you can get this thing cleared and get it knocked out i know it's a challenge but uh, let me know if this was helpful for you and i got a lot of outriders content i can make because i'm having so much fun with this game right now just so much fun thanks for watching the video y'all be warm and well fed hope to catch you out there in enoch sometime Bye bye